Hey, good morning. It's up Monday, April 13th. It's the day after Easter. If you live in the southeastern part of the United States, this Easter evening and, and day after, we have a memory of storms, very significant storms. At this count, uh, over 18 people were killed by the tornadic and heavy winds that took place uh, last afternoon into uh, the early morning hours of today. And it's interesting, challenging contrast between celebrating the glory of the resurrection just a few hours before, and then we see the fury of God poured out in these storms. And that, that fury is only a tiny, tiny amount of the fury that was poured out on Christ on the cross. God is, God is a furious God. He's also a loving God. And he balances those things in perfect harmony. We have this illusion that we can control our lives, whether we can control the climate, whether we can control the virus. I'm not talking about being irresponsible, but we can do all the control that we want. God is in control. And one wonderful truth that we need to hang on to from celebrating Easter and don't let that fade away in the middle of life and storms and viruses and the hassles of everyday life. It's a really good thing that Jesus Christ controls sin with his death because he obeyed the Father, he paid the price for our sin, and we are secure. There is nothing that this world can throw at us that can move Christ away from us. We are secure in him. And these storms, the viruses, the troubles that we have are reminders to us that Jesus is the one that makes everything work. That he is the constant. He is the one that is faithful. He's the one who never backs out, who never runs away. And yes, these things in life, these painful things that happen to us, they are but reminders that you and I cannot be in control because we don't have the power to. We can't control our relationships. We can't control the weather. We can't control the virus. And most importantly, we cannot control the fact that my sin and your sin deserves the wrath of God. But God can. And that's what Easter is all about. You see, Christ has taken the wrath of God upon himself. There's a long theological word that's used, propitiation. All it means is, is that Christ, being the propitiation for our sins, as the one who turned away the wrath that was pointed at us and took it upon himself. That's control. That's power. Only God controls the human heart. Only God has a remedy for sin. And that remedy is Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, don't look for it in other places. No relationship can give it to you. No human act, no amount of safety, no matter how strong your bank portfolio is, no matter how strong your house is, no matter how strong you think you are in preparation for life's relational troubles, only in Christ is there hope. That's what the cross and the resurrection symbolize. That's why we rejoice that Jesus is risen. Because that means that you and I have hope. He has conquered death and given us the very real certain hope of new life. Be controlled by that truth this week as we leave Easter and go into life realizing that God has us, and that's where our peace is. And that's a good thought to start this week. Lord bless you, take care of you, and uh, move your thoughts towards rejoicing in the King of Kings. For he is risen. Praise his name. Have a great day. Bye-bye.